Welcome, everybody. So glad that you could join me today. Welcome to this webinar. We're going to get started in just a minute. This uh, presentation, if you've not taken an open house uh, human design, living your design projector awakening success secrets, you might learn some new things here. So my goal is to help you know more about yourself if you're a projector, what we're talking about today, the puzzle piece of how you fit into the big picture of being a projector. Welcome to the human design system. It is the, called the science of differentiation for a reason because we as individuals have so many layers of differentiation down below the surface of that basic body graph chart that you guys may uh, be familiar with. This is our living your projector design awakening success secrets version of the living your design program. So if you don't know me, um, I'm Lavina and I am a professional teacher. I'm an independent IHDS, the International Human Design School certified professional teacher. I teach living your design, rave ABCs, cartography, the very first step up in um, becoming a BG5 consultant as well, the, the foundations courses for BG5 consultancy, which is applying the human design system to career and work. And I'm also a co-author of that free book you find on Jovian Archive. I'm a writer for my body graph as well, my HGS school and the BG5 Business Institute. So you can see my qualifications there. And I am super excited to welcome you on this journey in experimentation to have a new experience in order to get you to a place of empowerment. So I've been teaching Living Your Design for Projectors since 2014. I became certified in 2015, 16, 17. And right around 17, I started getting invited by generators and I started doing all type OIDs. And then I had somebody come and say, hey, I've been seeing this projector living your design. Can you do this for me? Can I, can I have that with you? And that started this journey again of, of focusing just on projector empowerment. So my design is about changing your fate. Literally, it's innocent instruments of fate who can step in and change the fate of others with learning, experience, and discovery. So I've been learning and experiencing and discovering the human design system since 2012. I love, love, of love this system. I am totally passionate about learning about how to help my fellow projectors because that's one of the things that we can really do as fellow guides on this path is guide each other. And there are particular authority centers, there's projected authority centers that we're going to go over in this program to help you understand yours. I happen to be an emotional projector. So about half of the population are emotional. So I'm one of the most common kind of projectors out there in that my authority operates in a wave. It goes up, it goes down, I'm emotional. So you might feel that in my sharing of my teaching, this is happens to be my design over here, the way that I share my feelings, the way that I empower you with my passionate advice or guidance. Um, this is what I love to do and I'm really honored to be here with all of you. So you can see we have fellow solar plexus emotional people, Holly, Garp, William, and Kareen. We also have a couple of splenic instinctive knowing people in our class, Federica, Suzanne, and one self-projected projector, Deborah. So I will allow a few more people to join us. I am going to cap this class off at about 12 to 14 people, depending if there's some extra people who are auditing, I might let them come in and, and bring their awareness and their experience. Audit means simply repeat. So I will open it up a little bit more if that happens, but I'm going to keep this to a smaller group because I want to make sure that we all have individual time with each other to share in our experience. Now, what is our experience? What are we? We as a type, as an energetic frequency, the aura that we have is called projector. Literally, we project ourselves into the energy frequency of the other person to focus on them and to absorb, penetrate, and know who this other person is. Our existential question, meaning what is going to help us focus on the other person so that we ourselves can have our success is this question of who are you? So if you're a projector that's constantly trying to figure out yourself, who am I? What am I here for? What is my purpose? What am I all about? If you're constantly trying to focus inward and you're getting more and more bitter, it might be because you're trying to focus your energy in a way it's not designed to. We as projectors are designed to focus into one other person at a time, period one other person at a time. We cannot take in the frequency of giant groups of people. Now for short periods of time, 
some projectors have an ability to guide or direct or lead small or large groups of people. That's a very specific design. And in this course, if you decide to continue, we're going to make sure that you recognize your own leadership capacity because all projectors are here to be a leader of a sort, either a guide, an advisor, a coach, somebody who is designed to see the big picture and move along processes and people to help them know themselves because that's what we are here for. So we're about 20% of the population. Now, in human design, if you're new to human design, you might have heard of this thing called strategy, your strategy your authority. It's one of the biggest keys that we have to helping people experiment with this knowledge to discover how well it works for them. So our strategy as projectors is to wait for recognition and invitation. We're going to go into what that means. What is a recognition? What constitutes an invitation? Now, as a not self, you hear this term not self bandied about, it simply means you're making decisions out of alignment, not from the true self, the authentic piece that is you, the definition, the es essence of what you can reliably trust in this life. If you are making decisions out in the openness from inconsistencies, then you will experience the not self theme of bitterness. The bitterness is actually coming from the definition in the design, the definition in the design sharing its bitterness gives you a signpost. That signpost helps you know on track or off track. In this case, this is off track. Bitterness, resentment, sourness, this feeling of not being seen, valued, appreciated, recognized, honored for what we bring to the table. Usually this is happening because you're attempting to push your energy into somebody else who is not asking for it. So the mechanics of a projector is non-sacral. What does that mean? This center right here is an energy resource center. This center is the sacral center. And what it is there doing is it's generating life force. So we are non-generative. We do not generate the life force consistency consistently. Therefore, we're not here to consistently put an output of energy that is like that all day long, constant go, 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 do, do, do. We're more of these uh, people that have an ability to have short focused contact with others for short periods of time acting as a specialist acting as a guide act maximizing energy and resources that's what we're here for all of us projectors are non-sacral meaning that sacral center is a really deep hook into the mind's process of trying to be a part of that juicy sacral world. And oftentimes we can burn ourselves out if we're not being aligned to our way of making decisions correctly. So we're going to make sure that you going through this process know how to make decisions correctly for you. Now, the other thing that all projectors have in common is that we have our throat not connected directly to a motor, directly or indirectly to a motor, because in that case, that would create a manifester, an energy being who is about initiating and making impact. That's not us. We have a different frequency, different signposts, different ways of being successful. In fact, the signature or goal, the way that our spirit, our essence of aliveness and vitality and joy show up in the world is through the, the success, the success, the sweetness of success that comes from an interaction with other people where we see and feel that success rising to the surface. It's going to show up differently for each of us, how we're here to empower or share or support others in success. But that's one of the things that we're going to go over in this course. Now, what are we? We are advisors in the BG5 career and business language, the application of human design to work. We call the projector an advisor. We are guides. You are naturally here to access excess excel <laughs> at guiding and advising others so you could be a team lead you could be a chain of command you could be a systems consultant you could be really good at networking and connecting people perhaps mediating perhaps being a teacher or a coach or any kind of consultant once you have systems mastery you can be that link in the chain that that sees where people belong where where things fit how things should flow in an easier more successful more efficient way so that's what we're here for so if you're struggling with a nine to five job that you hate and you're exhausted and you're fatigued and you're not being able to keep up with the world it's because you're not designed to keep up with the world you're not designed to be the stay-at-home mom and have a side 
job of, you know, working and um, being able to like have your own business and do all the cooking and cleaning and do and do. It's not about that for you. Specialist, short periods of time. Okay, get as much support as you can to be able to get things done in a way of delegating to the family members or the group environment that you're in. You don't have to do with everything all by yourself. That is a not self tendency, thinking that you have to do everything, overzealous, do everything all by myself. That's the open, conditioned experience of an undefined sacral center. So get help, get support. Don't do everything alone. You're not an island. You're here to work with others. 